heart of Bo Schembechler's team is always his defense. And today, that defense faces a supreme test. The top-ranked passer in college football is the Hawkeyes' Chuck Long. But if you shut Long down, here comes number 31, Ronnie Harmon. He's one of the best running backs in the game. It's the Iowa Hawkeyes hosting the Michigan Wolverines, coming up on CBS. CBS Sports presents College Football. Live from Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, Iowa, it's the Wolverines of Michigan versus the Iowa Hawkeyes. Since the arrival of Hayden Fry as head coach of these Hawkeyes in Iowa City six years ago, two words describe Kinnick Stadium, sold out. And it is that situation today because Iowa and Michigan are two of the four teams tied for first to the Big Ten with records of three and one. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Iowa City, Iowa. I'm Brent Musburger. To tell you just how important this game is for both Iowa and Michigan, consider one statistic. Only twice in Big Ten history has a team gone west to the Rose Bowl with two defeats. Back in 1959, Wisconsin did it, and these Hawkeyes did it here in 1981. But to get to the Rose Bowl, generally it is true, you must lose only one game. And Eric Parsegan, and talking to both these coaches, we could tell just how important this game is in their mind. Well, if the fans out there would have had the privilege as we have to be here for the last two days to talk to the coaches and the players, they too would sense the importance and the excitement surrounding this football game. And in addition, there's seven bowl representatives here. The season's on the line. Indeed it is, and the Michigan Wolverines and Bo Schimbeckler are coming out out of the field in Kinnick Stadium right now. And now it is the Hawkeyes. You know, when you break down these two teams, Iowa and Michigan, Iowa has that extremely talented quarterback, Chuck Long. He leads the nation in passing efficiency right now. He has all of that speed along with him in the backfield and Ronnie Harmon and also Owen Gill. He can go to Robert Smith. You would think mismatch. Iowa is too tough for the Wolverines this year. Well, you're 100% right, uh, Brent. There's no question about it. For the first time in 24 years, Michigan is the underdog in this ball game, and rightfully so, because Iowa has all the guns. But don't count Bo Schembechler and the Wolverines out. And here's why. In the last 15 and a half years at Michigan, Bo Schembechler has only lost 16 Big Ten games. In the last three years against good Iowa teams, they've only given up two touchdowns. The current edition of the Wolverines has given up just two touchdowns in the last three games, not one touchdown pass in the last 17 quarters. In my opinion, Brent, They've got to continue that quality of play if they ex expect to upset Iowa because the Michigan offense is not up to its usual standards. All right, the field marshal is ready, and we will be too. We're coming up with Iowa and Michigan on CBS in just a moment. This is second down and goal for the Hawks. Here's Ronnie Hitt, touchdown. So they've come with a new tailback as Rogers goes over to the sideline. Take by Reed. Oh. Intercepted. He threw the pressure that time. And Devon Mitchell, number 21, came up with the interception and got it down to the 40-yard line. Great defensive play on the part of the Hawkeyes. Except that he has missed an extra point already here this afternoon. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, so, he has missed an extra point. He'd be happy to hear you say that. Yeah, but but it was keep in mind that they could fake from down here. They worked on it in practice. If they spot daylight, the call will come. Now, I don't see the opening that they saw in the film. So, Nickel goes ahead and kicks the ball here in this situation. And he's got it. That's a 29-yard field goal for Tommy Nickel. We've got a timeout here in Iowa City. The Hawkeyes lead the Wolverines by nine. But we've come to the end of the first half. All the scores and highlights will be coming up. We'll return 
after this commercial break and a word from your local station. Now they put Rogers over here. They flank him to the right. Station fake blitz and back out and look at that pressure screen. And Mike Stoops came flying up to take Garrett down. What a defensive series by the Hawkeyes. Tremendous defensive series. This is a fake opportunity right here for Tommy Nichol, but they don't show it that time. He comes through with a 46 yard attempt right here. And he hits it. Tommy Nichol with his second field goal has the Hawkeyes up by 12. And he'll have to, of course, determine what to do here in the closing minute of the third quarter. Intercepted by the Hawkeyes. Devon Mitchell, second interception, and he could go. This is a big moment for Michigan in this game now. With Iowa down to the 10-yard line. Second down and about nine yards to go. Hawkeyes leading 12-0. 13.50 to go. And they run Owen Gill right up the middle into the end zone. Well, he ran right through. to throw it again. Incomplete and intercepted. Nate Creer. So if Devon Mitchell's going to get a pair, his former high school teammate is going to get one. And it'll be fourth down for the Hawkeyes. Student body helping Hayden make up his mind. They obviously want to go for the touchdown. And here comes the play from the sideline, and they are indeed going to try to get it in. Four minutes. And UCLA against California still to come here this afternoon on CBS. I don't think I'd take a chance on the option play here. He is. Touchdown. They ran it anyway. My concern, of course, would be with the game pretty much in hand, an injury to Long. Uh, they're going to need him the rest of the year. But he's a big, strong guy, and he took it right in there. another extra point now it's 26 nothing and Bo can't wait to get out of town <laughs> Hayden Fry and the Iowa Hawkeyes have handed Michigan and Bo Schembechler its first shutout since 1977.